Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend the Reddit scraper slash bot source code so that it automatically goes to a subreddit and upvotes or downvotes the latest X amount of posts. And also before going any further, I want to mention that this video is recorded only for learning purposes and I do not condone any spamming against Reddit or any other website. So let's get going and let me show you how you can easily do this. So as you can see, I'm on the old reddit.com website and I'm also logged in because you cannot upvote if you're logged out. As you can see right here, this is an upvoted post and you can also downvote it. And this is what I'm going to show you how you can do with Puppeteer. So let's go back in the code right here. As you can see, this is the reddit.js file module that we built from the previous videos. And here's what we are going to do. Here I'm going to start creating another function. Let's call it vote. And then we are going to make it async. Specify the subreddit again. Also the type which is going to be by default upvote. And then also the latest number of posts that you want to upvote. Or downvote. So number which is going to be 1 by default. Alright. And right now the first step is to actually go to that subreddit that uh, you want to upvote or downvote the posts for. So we are going to easily copy this line of code and paste it right here. And right now let's go back in the browser and as you can see we have right here the results. So basically what we want to do is iterate over each of them and upvote or downvote and then wait a bit and continue. But because we've already built a scraper for these results, we are going to use some part of the code that we used there. So let's go back just a bit below at the parse results function. As you can see, we have the elements right here. And then we can iterate over them just like this. And I'm just going to copy this line of code and go back right here to our new function. Paste it right here. Let's call it start to iterate over the posts. Good. Right now, as you can see, we are basically going to have a elements array, which is going to contain all the posts from this subreddit or any Reddit that you specify. And here's what we need to do. First of all, remove this line of code because we don't need it. And let's go back in the browser, right click here on the downvote and inspect it. Let's see what it has. So if we go just a bit up, as you can see, this is the div that we have access to and all of the content inside we also have access to. Again, right here is the div with the class of arrow down and also it has the data event action to downvote. We can easily use this part to build the query selector for this actual button and this is exactly what we're going to do first. So I'm going to copy this line of query right here and I'm going to go back right here. As we iterate through this elements array, we are basically going to do this. Switch, because we need to switch uh, based on the type. So in case the type is upvote, we are going to do the following and also the case where the type is downvote, we are going to do the following. Right here in the downvote case, we are, going to, we are going to write another variable which is going to be button and I'm going to get it simply by saying await element and then inside of the element, I want to get the following. I want to get the data event action, which is a div. So let me specify also right here. It's not necessary, but it's good practice just so you know in the feature when you're looking through the code, what type of element is it that you're looking for. So right here, we are going to get this button and after that, click on the button. Pretty simple. So we are going to say await button dot click. All right, now let's do the same thing for the upvote case. Let's copy this line of code and paste it right here and let's see what selector we have for the upvote and let's go bit up and as you can see we have data event action upvote 
So we are just basically going to say instead of downvote, upvote right here. Good. And also we can remove this line of code because we don't need it and we can put it just after. And of course, in this case, the button will not work because it's a let right here. So we are just going to make it like this and basically declare it right here. Let button null. Perfect. All right. Now, before going any further and testing it out, I want to make sure that it also limits the upvote or downvote to the number that is specified right here. And to do that, we can do it in multiple ways, but I'm just going to simply add a counter right here. Let total votes, which is going to be zero. And then after clicking on the button, I'm going to increment it total votes plus plus. And also right here, we need to check if total votes is more or equal than the actual number then we want to break out of this for loop. So I'm going to save this and now let's go ahead and test this out. So let's go back in the index. As you can see, we have uh, the old code right here. I'm going to remove this. And again, I want to mention that this uh, is just a random password just while filming this video. Don't even try to log in into my account because it's already changed. So right here, we're basically going to reddit dot vote and I want to vote from the node subreddit and also I want to upvote just one just one post so let's save this up and let's see if it runs or we have some kind of problems let's start this up and first it should log in looking good and now it goes right here and this is the first post and as you can see it's upvoted which means this code works and let's test it out uh, again let's close this and let's say the first two i want to downvote and also before testing it out it's uh, a good practice to add some console.logs so we can see and we can do them right here console.log went to the subreddit subreddit and we are starting to vote okay and then right here console.log upvoting the post with number and we can use here the total votes because it's zero and then we can append one just like this copy this line of code paste it right here down voting okay let's save this up let's go back and let's test it out make sure it's working okay it stopped in the debugger and as you can see went to the node subreddit down voting with number one and number two and as you can see right here it downvoted the first two posts all right now let's upvote them and let's stop this test because this was the purpose of the video and i really hope you liked this video and the previous videos if you did please leave a like and also a comment because this really helps me out to grow my channel and yeah thank you again for watching